you know, sometimes we had to get down and dirty, and, and uh, I felt like there was some exposure. I think I would have to say the WHPP probably saved my life because I knew nothing about the thyroid cancer and, of course, the dilatation of my aorta. I am Stephen Markowitz, an occupational medicine physician, and I direct the Worker Health Protection Program, a medical screening program for Department of Energy workers. During the last half of the 20th century, DOE nuclear weapons workers built this country's nuclear bombs, and in doing so played a critical role in defending our country. In performing this work, they often faced enormous and varied chemical and radiation hazards, and many unfortunately have or will suffer health problems as a result. The Department of Energy offers a medical screening program to detect and rectify the health problems that DOE workers have developed as a result of this work. With funding from the Department of Energy, our program, the Worker Health Protection Program, has screened over 20,000 DOE workers at eight different sites across the country. In this photo essay, we would like to share some of the stories of workers who have participated in our program. When you feel good, you don't know what is out there to get you. I want to tell you a story, true story, that's sad but interesting. A particular month in 2007, I had a physical with my personal physician, chest x-rays. Everything's fine, you're normal, you're great. The same year, I had to scan outside this union hall with a portable scanner and found three nodules. This thing has got me above ground and upright, so to speak. I doubt that I would have done anything if Bruce hadn't pushed me. The opportunity for the CAT scan came, which I did here. And of course the results were sent to Queens College and within a very few days I got a special delivery letter telling me I needed to see a doctor immediately because of the problem. And that's when the tumor on the kidney was found and within, I don't know, seven to 10 days, we had surgery and it, and it was removed. I feel like I'm 25 or 30. I don't know who that fellow is in the, that I see in the mirror every morning. I have backpacked over 600 miles in the Smokies, would like to finish hiking all 900 miles. And if I could just push a grocery cart up all those trails, I could do so. I feel appreciation toward that, that CAT scan because that, that made the difference for me. I worked, I uh, started in 75 at K-25. I worked there about seven years and went to Y-12. Well, I was laid off for about a year before I went to Y-12. Okay, so I was a maintenance mechanic at K-25. Then when I went to uh, Y-12, I was a machine cleaner. Machining those parts and get the chips, the shavings come off the, you got to dispose of them. That was my job to keep the shavings uh, pulled out, disposed of. I worked at taking off asbestos for years down there in the abatement uh, program. I went to work down there in 69 at the age of 22 and I just end up with pearl plaque thickening. I took asbestos off, dressed just like I'm dressed right here. No respirator, nothing. And I'm sure that they knew better to do that because of the people in the shipyards that were dealing with asbestosis. Because they used a lot of asbestos in them old ships. But the people that need, that's work down there, especially around these old buildings, need to have this screening. I would have never never done nothing else about this if I hadn't went back and had the screening. And they found it. They found the mass in my chest and sent it to my doctor. And that's how come I got rid of this cancer, because they found it. But they didn't find any emphysema or nothing in my lungs. They had all cleared that, just the pleural plaque thickening and the, and the mass in my chest. But it's gone now. But anybody's work down there needs this. They need the 
screening. I don't know why they wouldn't do it. For a couple of years, I've been going to my doctor and telling her I had a funny little feeling. And uh, finally, I got a, a thing in the, a little postcard in the mail said uh, that I had been identified as somebody that may qualify for a physical for uh, cancer screening. I was kind of worried about it. Uh, so I went to uh, the cancer screening that was set up through the... It's funny, I called here and Joyce Disney, who I used to work with, said, hey, I know you. <laughs> and so, you know, I walk in and everybody is people I've worked with for years. I was an electrician at Y-12 for about 12 years, and then I went to uh, waste management. I'm pretty proud of the uh, stuff that we've done. I was a part of that. And I'm 63 years old. And, you know, I've been through cancer four times. And still here, you know, just because of the information I got, you know, I know who to see, who not to see. So it's, it's worked out good for me. When I got cancer the first time, I had prostate cancer that was going to take me out you know according to my doctors and all that you know but that was 1995 and still here you know I just wanted to see my I'm sorry guys I got I got 13 grandkids, and uh, at the time, you know, my son and my daughter were still in school, high school. I just wanted to see them graduate. That was, that was my only wish, you know, was to see my kids graduate. And uh, I've got to see my kids graduate. My oldest grandson graduated, and he's got a football scholarship play at Kentucky so you know if I was to go tomorrow I'm, I'm I don't have a bit of problem with that I'm, I'm I've achieved way more than you know I thought I would well I first went through the program and they they came back and they found a growth they found a growth on the thyroid you said big long cut right there it was determined that it was it was due to uh, ionizing radiation and other things that I've been exposed to at the K25 site. So after they took it out, it's kind of left me without a thyroid, and I'm taking you know medication you know for that. Now the also the other incident was I got to feeling real tired, and I thought maybe it was my thyroid medicine was off. And then I got another notice from you guys that it was time for me to get a check. So I went and I got checked, and they come out and they said, hey, you've got something on your kidney. Well, couldn't find out. I think it was like four centimeters in my left kidney. And because they found it at the screening, I uh, was able to get to it, and the cancer was fully contained. Had it got outside the cancer, they, they told me I would have died. They caught it right in time because of your all's program. I would say it's the most important one thing you can do for yourself and your family, especially if you've worked at these facilities. It's the best program going anywhere. You guys do a wonderful job. I'm not just saying that. I mean it.